This presentation covers the section on teachers and learners, and we're going to start off with teachers. And we could start with a question, what makes a good teacher? I think every person that we ask, if we ask them to provide us with ten things that might be in their list, then we could come up with some things that are common to everyone. Studies that have been done throughout the world tend to come up with the top three being that the teacher is fair, secondly that they have knowledge of the subject that they are teaching, and finally that they can motivate the students to learn. So the role of the teacher within the classroom is going to be very wide and it will often change from moment to moment. In order to illustrate some of the things that the teacher could be doing at various times, we're going to use some of the things that they might say or some of the things that they may write down and from those we'll have a look at the role of the teacher at that point in time. So the teacher may say for example, okay everyone stop and look at me and I will explain and the role of the teacher at that particular time is that of a manager. So the teacher is actually managing what is going on in the classroom. Second thing that they might say, okay you're going to work in pairs and that's you and you and you and so on and so forth. So what the teacher is doing at this stage is actually acting as an organiser. Third example, the teacher may say something like that was an excellent point John and what he's doing there is acting as an assessor to the information that he's been given. For our fourth example, something like, good, and what did you see at the cinema? So what we're doing here is we're moving information along and the teacher is acting as a prompter of information. Fifth example, those have all been very good examples that you've given. My own worst nightmare is, and the teacher is therefore becoming part of the class itself and we could call that acting as a participant. Next one, talking to a pair who are working. Okay, you're both nearly right, but, and then go on to explain something. When working with individuals or with small groups, you're acting more as a tutor than a teacher for the whole class. Next example, having done certain bits of work, we can now say to the students, okay, now create your own postcard and the teacher there is acting as a facilitator. Example number eight, the teacher may say something like, okay, now listen carefully to the way in which I pronounce this word. So what the teacher is doing in this case is actually modeling the language, acting as a model. For our final example, whilst an activity is going on, the teacher may write a note to himself, Joe and Lecker are up to number nine in this particular activity. So what the teacher is doing at this point in time is to act as a monitor for the class. So assessor, prompter, participant, tutor, facilitator, model and monitor are some of the roles that a teacher will play. Which role that you have at any particular time in a lesson just depends entirely what is going on in the 